Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio. And in this tutorial, I wanna show you how to use an XR Direct Interactor and how that's different from an XR Ray Interactor. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here I am in Unity and currently I am using XR Ray Interactors for both of my hands. So what does that mean? It means that I can use the ray coming out of my hand to be able to select and grab something. But that doesn't really match what we do in the physical world. So what I wanna do is I wanna change from an XR Ray Interactor to using a direct interactor. So that means I have to have a game object within the physical space of my hand to be able to grab it. So the way we're gonna do that is to use our controllers. So we have our left hand and our right hand controller. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the left hand controller as a ray interactor, and then I'm gonna use my right hand controller as a direct interactor. So for us to be able to do that, I need to select my right hand controller, and I need to remove all three of these, the XR Ray Interactor, Line Render, and the XR Interactor Line Visual. And to do that, we just need to right click and remove component. And I'm gonna remove these from the bottom going up. So we have our back down to our base with just our XR controller, but now we need to go ahead and add our XR Ray, XR Direct Interactor. So we're gonna add that component. We're gonna add an XR Direct Interactor. If we want to focus on the object that we've grabbed, I can actually hide my hand model. And that's what I'm gonna do. So to do that, I'm just gonna hide controller on select. We also need to go ahead and also add audio and haptic events. So with this, when we've actually grabbed onto something, I wanna play a sound. So I'm gonna do a on select entered. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this click audio event. And then with that, we also need to some haptic feedback. We wanna be able to feel that in our controller. So we're gonna add a haptic event. We can do both a hover entered and also a select, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do a select. When I've actually grabbed onto the object, give a little haptic feedback. So to do that, I'm just going to go haptic intensity and we're gonna make that 0.2 and I'm gonna do the duration 0.2 as well. So that way we'll feel it in our controller when we've actually grabbed something. All right, so we have that set up, but we're not gonna actually be able to physically grab something just yet. The reason being is that we don't have a collider on this game object. So we need to go ahead and add a collider. So I'm gonna add component and I'm gonna add a sphere collider. And then with this, we also need to make sure that this collider has a trigger. So it is a trigger. So we wanna also check that box. Now, if we go and edit our collider, we look at the collider and it's really, really big. We need to make that collider smaller. So we can use either the edit collider buttons here. We can use these little handles where we can drag this smaller or we can just change the radius. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the radius down to something that's a little more hand size. So point one works pretty well. Now we are all set up. So let's go ahead and give this a test to see how it works. So here I am in VR and I have my left hand, which still has my ray. And you can see that my right hand no longer has the ray. And if I click, I can grab something with my ray. And now I can actually grab something with my hand directly. I won't be able to use a ray on it anymore. Okay, so I can now go ahead and grab a game object. So I can go ahead and grab a game object. You can see that my hand disappears and now I'm focused just on the game object that I've grabbed. And there we go. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.